Hey how's it going folks, Renaissance Gamer here and welcome back to War Thunder. This commentary has been added post recording. Before we start with today's gameplay, a viewer asked me to address this in the new episode. They were wondering why I jumped straight to higher tier premiums and this is because I wanted to skip the slow gameplay at the start. This is something I always do, I skip the tutorial stuff and jump right in the deep end and enjoy figuring things out in the meanwhile. This of course makes it a bit more difficult. But each battle rank has its own learning curve, so spending time at a specific battle rank will improve your skills even if you skipped a certain chunk of the previous ones. And the second comment was that they refuse to believe that I'm new to the game. My G, if you think I'm an experienced player, you should see my first episodes of the series. I also haven't uploaded a lot of rounds where I get shut down within minutes, so maybe that's why you get this impression. But really though, I've been playing since the start of March or maybe a day or two from February. Regarding the spending of money on premium planes, I'm a grown man and have a day job and spending this amount of money isn't a big deal. Anyhow, here are my stats. Do these look like I'm secretly a veteran player? As usual, I will speed up the initial travel to the battlefield and go over some recent updates while we get there. If you missed the last episode, the commentary continued with my own personal voice instead of the AI generated one. This is the second video I've recorded in my life and I'm not a native English speaker, so it will probably take me some time to sound good and learn the ins and outs of voice commentaries. The poll for the new series is still going and the link is down below if you haven't voted yet. Today's two rounds were recorded a few days ago, so the loadouts are still a bit outdated. I've been experimenting with the loadouts and using less missiles and additional cannons and I gotta say, the speed is something I haven't seen so far. And this especially applies to the Kafir Canard. By the way, if you are new to this series, please drop a comment below with any suggestions on how I can improve my gameplay. I'm a new player and I've been playing since the start of March this year, so any tips and suggestions are highly appreciated. Keep this missile at the back of your mind by the way, it will be important later. I'm not sure how this missile was still going by the way, or how it even targeted the teammate. I guess luck wasn't on their side.
really a 4J? You finna fight me? In today's playing card, we'll be covering the F-16A. This information has been taken from the wiki at the time of the recording of this video. The F-16A has excellent performance. It excels in low speed dogfighting and can hold its own at higher speeds. It's also one of the fastest fighters in the game. The F-16A consumes a lot of fuel on afterburner, so it's essential to use it wisely unless the maximum fuel amount is selected. If the maximum fuel or a drop tank is selected, however, this will immensely affect the plane's speed and performance. Thank you all for watching, please leave a like if you enjoyed this series so far, subscribe to be in the loop about new videos, and as always, comments with any tips on how to improve are always appreciated. See you all next time.